And now we check back in with Joanna Hernandez, who spent the day reporting in Rogers Park on the city's north side as part of our In Your Neighborhood series. Joanna, what do you got? Now that's right, Paris. Now we are here with Alderman Maria Haddon from the 49th, uh, 49th Ward, excuse me, which covers most of Rogers Park. How are you doing today? I'm um, doing fantastic. Well, thank yeah. you for joining us. Now, first off, you just came back from a neighborhood meeting, right? About change residents want to see in the community. What did you hear from them? Um, people, they want to see better solutions. I think um, hot topic this week, and it came up at tonight's meeting, was how we can help houseless residents. Um, we've got several homeless individuals living at Tui Park. That was a, a big incident this weekend or this week as you know, folks from the park district came to do some clearing. We have a lot of residents who've been organizing to support our neighbors. Um, a lot of people are afraid about evictions coming. And so tonight hot topic was what can we do about policies um, for our houseless folks? And uh, another big topic tonight was about what are we doing for policies to prepare for climate change? Yeah, so uh, always forward thinking a little bit of the here and present and then thinking a little bit forward about what we can do. Um, and I think people are interested in not just what we can do in the 49th Ward, but what can we do in Chicago? No, that's right. Now, one issue likely on top of everyone's mind is, of course, COVID and the Delta variant. How concerned are you about its potential impact on the city and here in Rogers Park? Your ward was hit particularly hard in the beginning, especially with those black and brown communities. So what are you doing to move forward and address this? Um, so some of the things are what we haven't stopped doing, right? So even with the opening up and, and getting back to going to businesses and getting folks ready for back to school, um, we've been really consistent through our office to um, encourage people to get vaccinated, remind people about masking. These last couple of weeks especially, um, you know, we started a little bit early. Um, my family and I tend to be a little more cautious maybe than others, but reminding people about um, vaccine opportunities and about wearing our masks. Um, some of the conversations we've had with some of our small businesses over this last week in particular have been figuring out what kind of things they might do to prepare. Um, a lot of people are worried about whether we'll go to another shutdown. Um, yes. So trying to encourage people knowing that if we make our changes now, we can avoid a shutdown, I believe. Um, but that's that's kind of been the conversations over the last couple of weeks. But we moved into action very quickly in 2020, uh, set up a community response team with local volunteers and our partner organization, Northside Community Resources. And some of the talk in my office has been trying to prepare about whether we might have to do something like that soon in the future. No, of course. And we see other local governments like New York City requiring vaccines to enter restaurants or, fin or fitness centers. Should something similar be, be implemented here in Chicago? I would love to see something similar intimate, uh, implemented here in Chicago. I know that um, our mayor and public health commissioner have indicated that it's, it's tricky. Um, I do think it's tricky everywhere, but I can tell you um, I just passed a business on my way here that started requiring vaccines in order to enter inside today. Um, leaving it up to the individual businesses, especially in Rogers Park, we have so many independently owned small businesses, I think is a, puts a bit of a burden on them and also means that we don't have consistent policies across the city. I think the city of Chicago should have a vaccine um, and at minimum a mask mandate. Of course, and last question here, we are 18 months in. You know, what do you want to tell your community now moving forward? We've been dealing with this for 18 months. What would you like to tell them? Um, we're going to get through this. Um, I've been very proud of the Rogers Park community of folks doing everything they can to one, help one another, to adapt to this crisis, to learn as much as possible. We're blessed to have several wonderful community organizations that have gone out of their way to help folks in need. Um, we've got to continue to be resilient. We've got to continue to be creative and we've got to continue to mask up as we move forward. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Well, that is all we have here in Rogers, Bar Rogers Park. Back to you in the studio. All right, Joanna, thank you. So Alderwoman uh, Maria Haddon there uh, supporting a mask mandate and vaccine mandate in the city.